So in my particular career, I'm currently the Executive Director of Infrastructure in a regional setting. So the, the challenge for me and other women in infrastructure and engineering is that we're a, a small percentage of the workforce. So we're women in a man's world essentially. So that, that creates challenges in infrastructure. There aren't traditionally part-time roles, etc. So um, getting through that career into a leadership position is, is probably twice as hard for women as it is for men. Uh, we've worked out a, a communications plan for our current redevelopment, which key messages are diversity. Str there is strength and diversity, both in our workplace and in the community. And um, that uh, focusing on women in infrastructure as and women in engineering and women in biomedical Im engineering, that it's a, a career that they can progress and look at. We've used communication as the key to get to like our internal stakeholders, our staff, but also to the community and, and promoted those messages far and wide. We have a very multicultural society, a very multicultural demographic. We have a lot of um, migrants and refugees and a large indigenous population. And that's certainly represented in our staff. So that is helpful in every part of the patient journey. You know, they see someone who may speak the same language as them. They see someone that understands their culture. So, and working in that environment, we can bounce things off one another, which is, um, brings, uh, makes a stronger workforce. Look, it brings people together. So not only are you able to see the latest innovations, um, you're able to talk to other health services about what they are doing. And often, uh, well, always, I go back with ideas and innovations on, you know, a path that we that I hadn't considered. So it's it's exciting. It's uh, you you meet with you meet with people that you uh, dealt with previously and seen before. So catch up with friends, but also meet new, exciting, innovative people.